right, so here we are in the Soyuz. This is what we call the Bet-O, the living compartment, Bitovoy Atsek in Russian. Um, it also has a little bathroom. It's not as good as the other bathrooms. So we try not to use it too much. It has drinking water in it if we need something to drink. And then, of course, it's filled up with a lot of cargo uh, for us. Um, for us, bringing up and also bringing back down. It has a second purpose when it comes back to Earth. It serves as a um, garbage container. During the descent, we'll, we'll get rid of this, this area right here, and everything that's in it will just burn up as it's coming into the atmosphere, so that way we can get rid of a little bit of trash. But the main area where we were on launch and where we are going to be on descent is down here because we're not part of the trash. So we're in a safe place. So we're in the descent module, SI. It's a little small, but you can get in. you could see in here. Hold on for a second. I'm going to turn it up this way just so you could see the hatch and you could see Kevin. <laughs> it's a little bit small but we'll, we'll come in and show you around. We're just starting to get ready. We pre we're preparing a couple days ago for our ride home. It's a little bit squishy but everybody asks how do you sit in the Soyuz and you sort of sit in your seat like this. The seat is molded to your body and so you can just sort of squish in here and be pretty relaxed. Everybody has a handmade seat for them. And then, of course, there's a control panel, and that's where we do most of our actions and work right here. There's hand controllers, which you can fly the vehicle with, and there's a s stick right here, primarily used for communications uh, when we're trying to talk to the ground. So three of us fit in here. Like I said, it's a little squishy, but uh, somehow it seems like we all managed to get in here and, and fit pretty well, and it's a pretty safe ride home. You're probably wondering, what's all this junk behind us? Well, it's all of our parachute, first of all, and then it's all of our survival gear, just in case we end up landing in some strange place on the planet and nobody's there to rescue us right away. We have all sorts of survival gear uh, with us, keeping us safe in here. So they've pretty much thought of everything. And uh, we'll be home on the planet within the next 12 hours. Pretty shocking. 